Hey everyone and welcome to today's YouTube video. My name's Amy, if you're new around here. Um, I'm excited about today's video because I'm doing this video for a purpose and the purpose of that is to find my Hindu dress. Um, yeah, so this video is some try-on outfits of some dresses that I picked up with the intention of wearing them to my Hindu, which is like four weeks away four or five weeks away now um so really really soon i don't know anything about it um but i believe i need a dress um so i did a bit of shopping on opoly and also house of cb i just wanted to treat myself to something really nice um you know it's like a once in a lifetime thing that's um my hindu so i just wanted to feel really nice so treat myself to a dress that I wouldn't normally pay out for. Um, I don't think I've ever actually, well, I've definitely never ordered anything from House of CB. Oh, Polly, I do own a bikini, which I love. Um, but yeah, I've never tried their dresses or anything. This video is gonna be very honest <laughs> um, in terms of quality and stuff, because the dresses that I'm talking about, I mean, you guys know House of CB, um, they're pretty much all over a hundred pounds. Um, couple that I've got anyway definitely are over £100 and the O-Poly ones I picked up I think range from between like 50 to 70 so even those ones that that is an expensive dress to me um if I spend 40 quid on a dress normally I'm like that's expensive <laughs> I'm a Primark girl at heart so yeah like I said I just wanted to treat myself to something a little bit more luxury and something that I'm just going to feel really really nice in for the night so I think I'm going to start with Opoly. As I said, um, I am going to do try and clips for you guys can you see what, so you can see what they all look like on. Um, I have actually already tried everything on. Um, I haven't done the try on clips yet, but I have tried everything on so I can get a feel for the fit and what it looks like. I won't lie to you, some of them are a bit of a disaster, <laughs> um, but I feel like that's all part of it and all the fun. So yeah, you guys will see that as well um but yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video if you um do then do give it a thumbs up hopefully it'll give you some inspiration for your own hindus or even just for like your birthday party or just like an event like an occasion um where you can dress up and make a little bit more effort so i really hope you enjoy do subscribe if you're not already i'd love for you to stick around but let's get on with showing you what dresses i picked up I'm going to start with Opoly, I think, which is the cheaper of the two brands. Um, and this first dress I picked up, the model actually was Molly May um, in this one. So I don't know if she has a range with Opoly or she was literally just the model. But the first one I picked up, let's do this bit up, is like this blazer dress. Um, so it's, yeah, you can see this top of it is like the blazer style. It's got padded shoulders and then it does have a cutout. Um, I'm trying to think of that. Yeah, there is a cutout on the midriff. You'll see again better in the try on. And then it's just a little skirt with these two little flap over pockets, which are actually real pockets. Um, this, I do actually really like this. Um, I think it fits quite well as well. The colour is a little bit off from what it was on the website. So on the website, it looked more cream. I would say this is more like banana kind you know like a foam banana it's that kind of creamy yellow color um which wasn't what i was expecting so i wasn't disappointed but yeah it just wasn't the color i was expecting i for reference picked this up in a uk size 12 and like i said i do think it fits quite well i am a bit smaller on top so it's potentially a little bit big on top and also in my arms and stuff but i do really like this um it feels really great quality as well. It's not see-through or anything like that, which I really like. It's a great length on me, I think. I'm about five foot seven for reference. So yeah, sometimes I struggle with the length of dresses, like going over my bum and stuff, but this is perfect for that. I do really like this. However, I don't think this is gonna be my hen dress. I think it's a bit like safe. I don't think it really screams hen do. Um, it's more what I would wear on a night out clubbing or going for some drinks with the girls. Like I would say it's a very me outfit and dress, which is probably why I picked it up. But I just don't feel like wow in it because, 
yeah i just wanted something a little bit more it's my hen do if you know what i mean so i do really like this but i do think i will be sending this one back just purely based on that fact um obviously i only need one dress so majority of these will be going back i just wanted to try lots of different styles but yeah this was the first one anyway whilst talking about that dress i feel like i should address the obvious that that obviously wasn't white um and i'm not sticking with a white theme for my hendu dress i know lots of girls do you know often the bride wears white and then all the um hens wear like black or completely different color i'm kind of doing that but i'm not restricting it to just white i've got a red dress for example a green dress so still like a color that would stand out that i maybe don't want the rest of the hens to wear but yeah, I'm no way restricting it to white. Um, on saying that, I think the next dress I'm gonna talk about is white. So this next dress is also from a Polly. Um, this one you're definitely gonna be able to see better in the try-on clip because I'm gonna do my best, but the top of it kind of looks like this. So it's like a corset style at the top, and then it has this sort of bit of fabric that drapes over. It also has like a halter neck bit um around your neck and then this drapey bit kind of sits over your shoulder as well and you can see the corset style goes down like that and then the skirt is just um like a fitted satin skirt but one side of it is ruched um you can just see here so there's a bit more of a split that side um i got this in a uk 12 yeah 12 as well it is like stretchy satin so it's actually really comfortable to wear i said i was going to be honest with you guys i'm not i'm not impressed with this dress um i don't think it does me any favors at all this satin skirt it is double lined actually but it's i still think it's really thin like you can definitely see your lumps and bumps like any cellulite and stuff like that um, and I think for the price, I'm pretty sure this was like 60 or 65 pounds. So I think for that price, it's just, in my opinion, it just doesn't suit my body shape. Um, I also think it's slightly big. So although it is quite fitted, I think because the satin is stretchy, it's just not as figure hugging as it probably should be. So maybe I probably should have sized down. Um, and I would say the cups are also a little bit big, but I haven't got much going on at the top anyway so that's not a surprise um but yeah i would say that this is probably out of all the dresses i'm going to show you guys my least favorite um i will be sending this one back again just based on the fact that i just don't think it suits me um but it's a shame because on the model online it does look like a really lovely dress so i think on the right person it would be lovely um to get it on and off it has got a zip just down the side here to help you get it on and off and I believe they do this in a like a berry sort of red colour um, as well. And possibly even like a dusky pink. So yeah, if white's not your thing, um, they do a few other colours. But I did want to at least try an, a proper sort of white dress. But yeah, I already knew the answer that just white but isn't very forgiving and everything. So yeah, that was this one anyway. And then the final dress from Opoly is another satin dress. Um when my mum was actually helping me try these on the other day and when i was putting it on i was like oh my god it's literally like a piece of fabric once it was actually on it didn't look as bad as i initially thought it was going to but again like the white one i just yeah i just don't think the satin fabric maybe suits me or the quality wasn't as good as i wanted it to be um but let me actually show you so this one's gonna be really difficult to show basically the skirt this is more of a mini dress the skirt looks like this um so it's very kind of ruched again and then it has just this hanging bit with like a tassel detail um you can see the bum is also quite ruched at the back which actually um is quite flattering on your bum so i do like that again it has a zip down the side to help you get it on and off the top am i going to be able to show you this top you will definitely see this better in the try but the top basically is these two bits of fabric and they cross over like over your boobs and like a halter neck um you'll be able to see the try clip um again i think the top of this is just too big for me once it's around my neck it's just not tight enough over my chest and i feel like i need to i would need to knot it whereas the back is actually a clasp 
Um, I feel like this would be better if it was just two long bits of fabric that you could literally tie to any length that you needed it to be because it's just too big for me up top but I need the size 12 for my bum and hips and everything. Um, so yeah, as I say, once it's on, I don't actually think it's that bad. Initially, I thought it was gonna be a disaster like the white one. Um, but yeah, I do actually quite like this, but I just, I'm not, I don't feel comfortable in it. Um, the top for me is too big. Um, and again, it is more of this sort of champagne-y, creamy, um, like a yellowy satin rather than more a white cream that it kind of looked a bit more like online, so. Yeah, they did do this in another colour as well. I think again, like a dusky pink colour. Okay, we're now gonna move on to House of CB, which, um, as a disclaimer, if you don't know, House of CB is expensive. I've already said this. Um, so the next couple of dresses are all over a hundred pounds. Um, so the first one I picked up, I can already tell like the satin on these dresses is amazing quality. Um, it's so thick and everything so I guess you do get what you pay for um, anyway so the first one I mean look at this red colour this is gorgeous so it's um, a little strappy top and then it is like a corset style so it's very figure hugging at the top but it has the satin that kind of drapes a bit so it gives you that kind of cow neck um, look to it to get it on and off, it has got a zip at the back, which again feels very secure. It's actually really stiff to get up and down. Um, it also has the little clasp at the top just to cinch you in even more. And then the skirt of this goes all the way down. It looks kind of quite fishtaily here. Lots of ruching um, and there is like a split up the front so you can walk. Um, and then at the back again, it just goes all the way down, lots of ruching over your bum again, which makes your bum look incredible. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorites out of the whole haul. Um, I love this color as well. I don't believe they do this particular dress in any other colors, but I did really like this red. And although it's not traditionally a Hindu color, I feel like red is still a statement and a standout color. Um, and you know if you're looking for a dress for a birthday or something then I think this is perfect as well I mean look at that sheen I just think it looks I was gonna say it looks expensive that's because it is expensive um, I got this one so there is a bit of a story here this one is a size large I originally got it in a medium which I, I was able to get on um, and you will see in the try and clip because I have done a try and clip for the size medium one I could get it on, it looked great when I was stood up, but when I sat down, I literally thought it was gonna split. Um, so a medium is a 10 to 12 on House of CB website, but I think it just depends on the fabric and everything. So they have on their website, which is a really great tool, a stretch factor of the dress and it's out of three. So um, some of them are like a one out of three, so it's got like very poor stretch in it and everything like that. So. That is really helpful when trying to pick a size. Um, so I thought I would try it in the large, um, which fits so much better like over my hips and everything. But again, I just feel like it is a little bit big on top and doesn't sort of suck me in as much as the medium did. If I could have the medium top half and the large bottom half, it would be perfect. So I am in two minds about this one just because, but just purely based on the size. Um, so yeah, I do really, really like this one, but there is another House of CB dress that I'm gonna talk to you about now, which I think may just trump this one. Okay, so the next House of CB dress, um, I literally love this one, is this. How stunning um, is that? So you can see it's a very, very low cut um, top, which does amazing things for your boobs, <laughs> okay? I'm, I'm not someone with like the biggest chest or anything, but this is doing something. Um, so it's this gorgeous, gorgeous color, as you can see. I love this color because um, my bridesmaids dresses, sneak peek, are also not the same as this, but a similar green color. So I feel like that's in keeping for the hen as well. Um, so that is the top. Again, it's that corset detail, so it's really, really fitted at the top, really snug. 
and then again it has all this ruching detail at the side which is really flattering on your stomach area if um, you're sort of conscious of that kind of thing and it has a really high slit up the front as well but at the back it, there's quite a lot of fabric it goes to sort of I would say below my calf um, so you know it definitely covers your bum and everything like that again the zip the zip on this one is actually a struggle to get up it's so stiff but i like that because it feels like it's not going to split open and break um obviously again the quality of this does feel amazing it's all double lined satin the satin just feels so much thicker um than the o poly dresses as well um even if this was wasn't lined it would just feel so much um thicker i did the same thing with this one that i did with the red one i originally bought it in a medium and I couldn't even get that one done up all the way. It went up half the way. Then I, when I looked on the website, the stretch factor of this is like zero out of three or one out of three. So there's literally no stretch or give in it at all. So I went for the large um, and this one fits perfectly. Um, I wouldn't say it's even any bit big on the top. Whereas the red one, I think there is a bit more room in it. But this one, it's, it's perfect. Um, it's literally my size it's a little bit annoying because i feel like in a dress i am a standard uk size 12 so a medium is a 10 to 12 so it's just that bit too small and then the large is a 12 to 14 so in the red one it's coming up a little bit big on me so i've been lucky with this one this one i think fits the best out of all the dresses i love the color i love the fit um i think it's definitely like i'm here i've arrived it's my hen do um, I like that the colour is in keeping with my wedding theme as well. Um, on that, they do have this in various colours. They actually do it in white, but they didn't have that in my size. Um, also a dusky pink colour, really gorgeous teal blue colour as well, um, and also a chocolate brown. Um, so there's quite a few colours in this one, but yeah, I love this. As I say, I think this is probably going to be the one. Um, but yeah, maybe drop me a comment in the um, comments, actually. Um, and let me know what um, your favourite one was. But as I say, I think for me, it's definitely going to be this one. Right, guys, that is the end of today's video. That was so much fun. Um, I think because I'm actually looking for something for a specific event, it's not just I've gone shopping and picked up a few bits that I'd like to have in my wardrobe. Like, I know I'm actually going to be wearing one of these in the very near future. So very exciting um as i say yeah i think the green one is winning at the moment i do love the house of cb red one as well and i am tempted to keep both um purely based on the fact that i do have my brother's um birthday party in march he's having a joint party with his girlfriend as well so they're throwing a big party and it is james bond themed so i feel like the red one is kind of james bond themed it's quite like sexy and that kind of thing so yeah that's my excuse anyway so i may possibly keep both but yeah i think the green one for the hen anyway let me know what you guys think down below um the problem now is now i've tried out some house of cb dresses and i know that the quality is amazing every time i need a dress i'm going to be like oh house of cb and i'm going to be spending near on 200 pounds <laughs> um but i think they're the sort of dresses that can last as well so yeah, let me know what you think anyway, but I really hope that you enjoyed that. I'm gonna get on now and do the try and clips for you guys, which you of course will have already seen. But thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I'd love for you to join us over here and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Thanks guys, bye.